Changes to improve safety could be coming to an intersection just west of Wichita. It's 21st and 167. It's been a source of concern for drivers and people who live near there because of the number of crashes. Sedgwick County uh, commissioners will consider now a pilot program at tomorrow morning's meeting. Sean Logging is taking a look at what it will include and talks with one of the people who are pushing for change. Sean. Mike, Rachel, this intersection has been the site of repeated crashes about 50 in the last 10 years, some of those resulting in deaths and serious injuries. Cedric County says the reason for the increase in crashes at this location, human error. The county has been making several changes at this intersection over the last few months, including more and larger signage. Now Public Works is proposing a pilot program to continue the effort of getting drivers attention. Living a short distance away, Carrie yeah, Patton goes to the intersection often at 21st and 167. People run that stop sign all the time, and there are so many close calls that um, it still makes me super nervous. And she's one of the people seeking changes at this location. The county, you know, acknowledging that this is an issue, taking action on the issue, we appreciate that. We just hope that this does save a life. There's been a number of serious and deadly crashes here. Most notably, the death of Wichita Police Officer Stacy Woodson and his son in 2018. This also happens to be the birthday of Officer Woodson. Sedgwick County Public Works discussed Monday their latest approach, calling for piloting an intersection conflict warning system. Sedgwick County hasn't used ICWSs before, but this is an example of what one looks like from the Indiana Department of Transportation. It will warn drivers on 21st of stopped traffic on 167th and warn drivers on 167th that those on 21st have the right of way. Perry says the changes made so far have made the intersection a little better, although she says the new signage adds visual impairments, but the patrols have been key. The Sheriff's Department has done a fabulous job of getting out here and being present. Um, they're writing tickets, they're pulling people over, they're um, making people aware of how dangerous this intersection is. Long term, Cedric County Public Works is proposing a roundabout, but if approved, that's several years away. Some people want a light, some people went a roundabout. You're not going to make everyone happy. Um, but the fact that they are willing to make some big changes is a huge plus in our books. Cedric County Public Works says it's completed its traffic study of this intersection and it doesn't warrant a traffic signal or four way traffic stop intersection based on guidelines. We'll of course, keep you updated on what the Cedric County Board of Commissioners decide when the pilot program goes before them tomorrow morning.